Hey, real estate investors, Ray Burkhalter here with REI Funding Partners. We are your private lenders for rehab deals in the state of Alabama. Uh, we love putting out this content that um, real estate investors can find helpful when they're scaling up their business and they're looking for additional funds that they need to get more projects going and to have more projects uh, be successful. Uh, so today's topic is about credit score. Um, we get that question a lot, does our credit score matter uh, for private lenders? So let's jump right in. Um, banks do look at your credit scores, but when it comes to private lenders, the score, that just that FICO number itself, uh, doesn't really tell us very much. Um, and so most private lenders don't really go by a score. It's really the credit report that is more interesting. So exactly what's going on on a credit report to cause a certain score, whether it's high or whether it's low. One thing uh, that private lenders look at when they're looking at a credit report is to see uh, if there's a bankruptcy in your history. If there's one there, that's not an automatic no, but there's gonna be questions for you to answer like how long ago was the bankruptcy uh, was it a chapter seven? Was it a chapter 13? Did you just erase all of that debt or did you pay it off um, on a payment plan? For a private lender, they're, they're lending you money. And if you've bankrupted before on um, other loans and other debts, and it's been very recent, um, they're probably gonna be pretty hesitant to lend money to you again if you just recently um, let that go. Um, but if it's an older bankruptcy, if you took care of your debt and it just took some time to restructure and do that, then a bankruptcy um, doesn't have to be an automatic no. Um, and then similarly, a foreclosure. What happens if there's a foreclosure showing on your credit report? Um, again, a private lender is going to want to know, um, look at that and say, how long ago did that foreclosure happen? Um, if it was many years in the past um, and everything has looked good since then, then it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, they'll probably want to know, you know, was this your home? Was this your primary residence that got foreclosed? Or was this an investment property? Um, a private lender is lending to you on an investment property. So if you've had one uh, that you stopped paying on and it foreclosed uh, recently, then they're going to you're gonna to wanna to know all the details around that because you just let a house go and now you're asking for more money for a new house. So they're gonna to wanna to know why you stopped paying the mortgage and kind of what the story was around that. But again, uh, we have loaned before to people that have been through foreclosure. There was a good reason why it was in the past. They had had a good track record since then. So again, not, not a absolute no if you have a foreclosure. And then finally, uh, what if there's collections, collections showing up? Um, for a private lender, um, when they make you that loan, the first thing of concern is, are they gonna get the money back? That's why they have the collateral of the property, and that's why they're looking to make sure that you um, have a track record of, of paying your bills. So they want also to know that they're gonna get the interest on their loans. That's why they're taking the risk of lending it. So. Um, if there's collection showing up, what that says is this person may not be paying their bills. Um, so if there are some bills that you are disputing on your credit report, that's going to be helpful for the private lender to know uh, because sometimes there's, there's good reason. There's bills that shouldn't be there and you're disputing them, but it's still bringing your credit score down, maybe causing you not to be able to get financing in a bank while you're waiting on to clear up. Um, a private lender is going to want to know why do you have certain bills on your credit report that's in collections um, and they they would like to know are there other non-payments that's on the report um, that's kind of causing the whole situation there so um, again if you have things in collections it's not an absolute no but it is going to be a yellow flag for a private lender uh, because they are coming to you and you're coming to them and you guys are coming together on this prospect of, of a loan. And if you have a track record of not paying your bills 
are not managing your money well, then it's probably not a good idea to get into more debt and a private lender is not going to want to lend in a case where they have a higher likelihood of losing their money. So those are some of the main things that we see on credit reports as private lenders here that we really have to dig in further on. But we've successfully done loans for people with credit scores in the 600s and the 500s um, because there was good reasons for their scores being that low. And we look at the actual details, not just at a score. So at REF Funding Partners, again, we are uh, your Alabama private money lender for rehab projects. Um, we're here, if your business is growing, if you're scaling up and you need to do more deals, we're here to help and we're more than a lender. Uh, we have a team of people here that understand rehabbing and uh, real estate investing firsthand. We have tools that can help you out as well. Some of the ones you see on the screen here, cash flow analyzer, um, that's gonna help you look at, at a monthly budget and make sure that the money coming in from your rehabs are gonna cover the different costs. It helps you look at and see what are the different costs of a real estate investing business that does rehabs. We have a Burr Analyzer tool to help you run the numbers before you purchase and start on a Burr project to make sure that you're gonna get the results that you want. We have project management tools to help do your rehabs on time and on budget. And so we put a lot of work into being, again, more than a lender. We're here for your success. So if you wanna uh, get started doing more deals and more profitable deals and you'd like to partner up with us, we'd love to have that conversation with you. We're closing in um, as of the time of this recording, March, 2024. Uh, we're closing in on deal number 350. Uh, we're excited about that, excited to be funding projects in Alabama. So our website's on the screen here. Uh, we'll provide a link. Uh, um, I'm sorry, on that website, you can find a link to schedule a call with Parker Grissom. He quotes all of our deals. He's a hands-on investor himself. He understands what you're doing and he's glad to help. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you on the next one. Take care and God bless.